ゥルトゥトゥルルトゥトゥルルルトゥルトゥルルトゥルルトゥルルトゥルルトゥルルトゥルルトゥルルトゥルルトゥルルトゥルルトゥルルトゥルルトゥルルトゥルルトゥルルトゥルルトゥルルトゥルルトゥルルトゥルルトゥルルトゥルルトゥルルトゥルルトゥルルトゥルルトゥルルトゥルルトゥルルトゥルルトゥルルトゥルルトゥルルトゥルルトゥルルトゥル What is it I want to show you right now in front of the castle Sans Souci? That's French and it's in English without sorrow. Frederick II built this wonderful castle in the 1800s, some, something around 1750, and he was there very lucky and happy. And it's a very, very beautiful castle, very tiny castle you can say, but very homely. And why am I standing here? Because I'm living here and it's nice. <laughs> That's all. But I got my hmm, <laughs>、uh, 3D grab bag. Grab bag, grab bag. <laughs> I borrowed this somewhere, this expression, with me. And I want to show you something I stumbled up,、uh, over or upon the, in, during the last weeks, months, or years. First thing that I want to show you is. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> It's this one. What's this? It reads, can you read it? Stereoscope Brugurière. Stereofilm Brugurière. Pour positif. 45 to 107. I open the box for you. What's inside the box? It's a stereoscopic viewer. It looks like this. Wonderful stereoscopic viewer, and which stereo positives have they been watching in the 1940s? Wow, a viewer from the 1940s from France, they have been watching these things. Stereo film Bruguiere, Brevette, SGDG, positive stereoscopic sur film. 12 stück, 12 pieces. Paris à la nuit, Paris at night. La Côte d'Azur 2, the second part of Côte d'Azur. What do we got? Monte Carlo and Monaco. Les Cathédrales. And Paris. And these are wonderful <laughs> stereoscopic photographs from the 1940s, around something like that. Just a moment, I open one for you. Tip, 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 tip. One for me, one for you. You open the box and then you have something like this in here. This is、uh, tinted sepia, the other ones are all black and white, crispy black and white. And the thing was, you would take this positive and put it in the, well, you guessed it. Viewer. Like this. Voila. And then you could watch it. And it's really, really well done. It reads Paris, 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 Lac de Triomphe et la Place de l'Etoile. Each box contains 12 views. And guess what? We're going to watch all of these right now. I scanned them into my computer and I did a little tweaking. Let's go.
de temps dans mes bras si petit, si petit, si petit, auprès de moi. Que je crois quand ton cœur va trop vite, le briser entre mes doigts. Quand je vois qu'une peine s'agit, tendrement vers toi, Jacou, tu te fais dans mes bras si petit. Petit, oh mon
That was that with the stereoscopic grab bag, dear Greg Warmbrod. <laughs> you can see I got another thing in my hand right now. This is the chapter two of today's episode. It's something <laughs> really strange. Uh, a friend gave me this box. This is a small box. It's got printed on Die Welt plastisch gesehen. Seeing the world in three dimensions. From the CK Raumbild Verlag Dresden, CK Stereoscopic Images Company from Dresden, Germany. And in there was this viewer. It's a really strange viewer. It's from 1951 or 53. You can. It's foldable. You fold it like this and you fold the holder like this. Suck. And then, if you're lucky, you find images from the Volkländer Company. Volkländer Company was a company from Brunswick, Braunschweig. It's in the northern Germany. And you put the, the photo in like this. And then you can watch it. And like this, and you can adjust the sharpness. And this is from Italy. It's wonderful. It's wonderful 3D. I suppose these prints are from the 1920s because there are, I got um, 38 of them and there are people uh, photographed taking a bath or making sports and they look, they have these, these typical hats people were wearing in the 1920s. And also you can see no swastikas anywhere so it's most likely that it has not been taken during the 1930s when Germany, yeah, you know what, <laughs> what a fucking time that was. So, 38 of these Volklander prints, they are very tiny. I got in my collection. Do you want to see them? I can't hear you. Do you want to see them? I can't hear you. Still, I can't hear you. Do you <laughs> want to see the Volklander 3D prints? 38 pieces. Yeah, now I'm going to hear you. And here they are for your enjoyment and mine too. One, two.
Mädel, die in blonde, schwarze Mädel sehen, dann vergib mir die Zeit. Du, 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 ich muss Mädel sehen, süße, schlanke Mädel sehen, dann erst bin ich vorbei. Denn meine einzige Leidenschaft sind Seidenstrümpfe fein. Doch in den Strümpfen muss doch etwas drinnen sein. Ach Kinder, ich muss Mädel sehen, blonde, schwarze Mädel sehen, dann vergeht mir die Zeit. So, <laughs> hope you enjoyed the, the Voigtlander show. Funny thing with this box is there are um, self made stereo photos inside as well, but these have been experiments. The person who made these photos tried to make a a 3D photograph of this uh, matchbox. It's from Eastern Germany and I tried to align it in Stereo Photo Maker so you can see it here. Zack. Yeah, it's not that perfect. It gives your eyes a hard time. Also, there have been uh, stereo photos of plants, miniature plants. I scanned them, I tried to align them and this is the result. Well, obviously the person only made two or three experiments with this thing. He was a person that did not throw away things and so it survived. I believe the man is long dead now. Zack. Put it back in the box. For future generations to behold. Yeah. Now this is the CK Raumbild Betrachter from Dresden. Not to be confused with the Schönstein viewer, which is this one, but this is for another episode. Not today. So, so this is episode number 3041 of today's Mondo Stereo, the world in three dimensions, stealing Greg's grab bag and running away. Bye for now. <coughs>